What's up you guys, it's Katie. So guess what? I go to real school now. This is a really slow spin. And I'm coming around, coming around, coming around. Hey, I made it! No, I didn't really make it. Okay. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of requests recently to do a video kind of talking about what homeschoolers can expect um, when we go to a real school setting. And yeah. Let's talk about it. This is basically a rundown of my first real day of school. I woke up and I was really nervous about the whole thing because it was a completely new situation I'd never really been in before. Teachers and other people and chairs and desks and chalkboards, hallways, buildings, buses, stuff, air, what? <laughs> So yeah, I was really scared, but my roommates were great and they kind of, you know, calmed me down. It was good. Look for people who look just as scared as you are and then go up to them and you're just like, hey, nice to meet you, let's be friends. Although you don't actually say that because that's weird. Look for people who are scared. They are there, you're not the only one. <laughs> but I have learned something that is so exciting and here's what it is, guys. Teachers give you the answer. <laughs> For you people who have never been homeschooled before, you don't understand what a magical thing this is because seriously, we learn our entire lives that you just kind of have to memorize the textbook and then whatever is on the exam, you just kind of hope for the best and you hope that you study the proper thing. But there's like a teacher who will be like, yo, yo, this is gonna be on the exam. Take notes because you know, this is the answer when you get this on the exam. And I'm sitting there like, oh my gosh, this is amazing, what's happening? And I'm looking around and everybody else is just completely normal. I'm like, do you not realize what marvelous Things have happened in this classroom right now. <laughs> My gosh, someone else walking by, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Crap, he's looking, oh my gosh! Seriously, having teachers in your courses actually like instruct you on the material is so helpful. And that kind of leads me to another thing I want to say. Go to class, okay? Don't skip class. I have, I have met people where they skip class in order to study for the subject of the class that they're skipping. I still have to work out how that's logical. Another thing that you should probably be aware of is you are going to use slash need your cramming skills. See, there's this thing called midterm season, which praise the good Lord and the heavens above, he got me through. I had one midterm where I woke up that morning and had yet to read four of the chapters that were going to be on said midterm, but I crammed all day in the library and I got a great mark on that exam. So judge me all you want, but I made it through and I am completely not ashamed of that. I feel like this might be more of like a university prep school video than like a high school prep school video, but I mean, maybe it's applicable to both. I don't know, I didn't go to high school, so I can't really help you there. Here's a fun story. After my last midterm, and at that point I'd been like studying and stressed for like nine days straight, I was so exhausted mentally and physically. When I took the elevator afterwards, I had to sit down in the elevator because I physically could not take like the pressure change and I had to sit or else I would have fallen over. So that happened. Man, I'm making school sound like really bad. This is not good. Oh, here's another fun story. So over the weekend I had to write an exam and I go into the examination room and everything's going fine but I guess somebody had the brilliant idea the night before that it'd be so fun to play a prank on whoever would sit down in some seat the next day. But I guess that they had decided at the end of their night class the night before that, you know, we'll just pour the rest of my water bottle into the seat so tomorrow morning whoever comes in they'll just get a nice little present when they sit down. Do you see where I'm going with this? So I sat down and quickly realized that there was something quite wrong. I looked like I peed my pants now and I now had to write this exam and I couldn't go change or fix anything. I just had to now sit with my wet pants and write an hour and a half long exam. So that was fun. That was really fun. That is sarcasm. We need some more light in here. Oof. Oh gosh. Man, I am all over the place today. Oh gosh, someone else. Male person. Okay, going under the desk this time. Nope. I've had so many awkward eye contact situations today and I'm just so done. Here's an observation I legit have a question about. There are students who every single day will buy Starbucks or Timmy's and they always have like some sort of beverage in their hand and I just, like student debt and budgeting. I'm not judging you, but I'm judging you, but I'm not, but, but I am. Group work is a thing and it's not as bad as you might think, actually. I mean, it's not fun, not gonna lie. Overall, I'm really loving school, actually, and it's been really awesome and a great experience, so don't be as worried about school as you think that you need to be, I guess. One more really quick thing to finish off. Guys, oh gosh, another person is coming by, but they're an old person, and they're just gonna, like, walk by. Hi, she's waving, hi. <laughs> oh, man! 
Guys, we're almost at 10K on this channel. How, wow, thank you. <laughs> there is no way that this is because of me. It is because you guys share these videos with your friends and I can't thank you enough for commenting and liking and staying connected and it's just so exciting to see what God's doing and thank you, just thank you. So I think this is where I'm gonna end it today so I can stop making awkward eye contact with random strangers. And until next time I see you, have a great life. Don't be stupid or make bad decisions. Bye guys. <laughs>